So guys, in this next news story, four men from Stoke on Trent have been jailed for a total of 65 years for using vulnerable teenagers, one who's ages 15, to flood the city streets with heroin. They have now been sentenced for drug and modern day slavery charges. Osman Rafi, who's 29, Umar Rafi, who's 31, Harun Hussein, who's 31, and Muazam Nasir, who's 24, have now been jailed for their part in a huge county lines conspiracy. Dubbed Operation Campus, it was busted by Staffordshire Police in 2020. Concerns were raised to police regarding exploitation of a child in May 2019, which led to an investigation being launched. A designated team working with multi-agency partners investigated numerous allegations and visited many young people over a six-month period. This resulted in identifying two child victims and multiple offenders by February 2020. A large-scale enforcement operation was carried out across stroke on Trent in March 2020, which saw Umar Rafi, Usman Rafi, Muazzam Nasir, Harun Hussein and two other suspects, Paul Harness and Lee Comley, arrested. There was another person, Hasnain, and was later arrested in September 2020. Sentencing at Stoke Contrent Crown Court, Judge Sally Hancock said between March the 1st, 2019 and February the 26th, 2020, the lines existed in the city. It was in essence a telephone service through which the drugs could be ordered and provided and drugs were prepared to be sold and transported. Those involved became experienced and confident. They used vulnerable teenagers intimidating them and threatening them and causing violence. This court sees a devastating consequence of drugs in the city of Stoke-on-Trent every day. Drugs ruin lives. She said you all made the decision to supply these drugs knowing they would further the misery and despair of users. You have each played your knowing part for financial or other gain in causing misery to others. So sentencing Usman Rafi, the judge said you are 29. There were threats of serious violence and you had already established yourself as someone prepared to supply Class A drugs before this operation came into existence. It's aggravated by your previous convictions. As mitigating factors, you have shown remorse for the shame that has been brought upon you. Sentencing Umar Rafi, Judge Hancock said you are 31. You forced one teenager to take part in three robberies. You said he owed a debt to a member of your family. You sought to contact him after he'd been taken to the care of police and other agencies to intimidate him into silence. Aggravating factors are your previous convictions. As mitigating factors, you will be away from your family for a considerable period and this will be a difficult time for you all. Sentencing Haroon, Judge Hancock said, you established yourself as a dealer of Class A drugs even before the events of Operation Campus. You saw the opportunity available after forcing a teenager to prepare and sell drugs. You were content to use the threat and violence towards him. This is aggravated by your previous conviction in which includes a conviction in 2014 for the supply of Class A drugs. Mitigation is that you have already been in custody for a considerable period and you have shown remorse for your actions. And sentencing Mwazm, Judge Hancock said, You are 26. You were involved throughout. You were involved with one teenager and you may not have been involved with the others but you played a much more active role with another. You had already established yourself as someone prepared to supply Class A drugs even before it came into existence. It is aggravated by your previous convictions and I accept they are not related matters concerning drugs. And with regards to mitigating factors, that you have already been in custody during a difficult period and I accept you are remorseful. Sentencing Hasnen, she said, You are 24, you committed robbery against a man and his girlfriend with one of the teenagers. You drove Umar to the car park as the teenager and others threatened him with being stabbed. They threw chilli powder into his eyes and assaulted him to get him and his girlfriend to give you the car. This is aggravated by the planning and high value of the car you have previous convictions but the minimal. Just first experience of custody. Lee Comley got a suspended sentence and the judge said, you accept that you were concerned in supplying Class A drugs. You were addicted to Class A drugs and you were asked to help in the delivery and you did. So the sentencing are as follows. Umar Rafi was sentenced to 16 years in prison. Osman Rafi was jailed for 15 years. Mwazim Nasir was sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. Harun Hussein was jailed for 15 years. Hassan Shabir was jailed for four years and six months and Lee Comley was sentenced to 12 months suspended for 18 months. The officer on this case, Detective Constable Stuart Pearson, said, We welcome these sentences 
and we would like to praise the boys for their cooperation throughout this complex investigation. They helped us massively to ensure the successful prosecution and prevented other young people being forced into a life of crime and misery. We also like to thank the CPS West Midlands Complex Crime Team for their excellent support throughout the investigation. In a new story, coming from Northumbria ways, a businessman who ran a drug trafficking network is to spend more than 12 years behind bars after police infiltrated his encrypted messages. Christopher Riley appeared at Newcastle Crown Court where he was sentenced for a conspiracy which saw him supplying large quantities of cocaine to local dealers during the pandemic. The 35-year-old first came to the attention of officers back in 2020 as part of Operation Venetic, which was an international effort to thwart organised crime. A team of Northumbria Police's Crime Department swiftly set up a covert operation to take down Riley's illicit business. They soon identified his right-hand man, Darren Johnson, and found that the pair had been responsible for the sale of 15 kilos of coke, believed to be worth over half a million pounds as well as large quantities of cannabis between April the 1st and May the 31st, 2020. A comprehensive file of evidence was produced and on the 12th of May, officers launched a targeted strike. Riley was intercepted and arrested by officers at Newcastle Airport after returning from a trip to Dubai. His home was searched and he was taken into custody with officers seizing cryptocurrency passwords, £3,270 in cash and a knuckle duster. His trusted lieutenant, Johnson, was arrested the same day while driving on Welbeck Road in Biker and his home address was also searched. Officers recovered cannabis worth around £17,000 and a small quantity of cocaine as well as a knuckle duster and a detailed debtors list. The men were charged the following day with a conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs. So the sentences are as follows. Christopher Riley pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs and was offered 12 and a half years. Darren Johnson, who's 48, also pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs and was jailed for nine and a half years. After the sentencing, Detective Inspector Mark Michael said, this is a great result for the force and for our communities who are sick to death of the harm being caused by illegal drugs and the organised criminals pushing the sale. Riley had made a comfortable living and significant sums of cash by instructing others like Johnson to get their hands dirty by selling harmful, addictive drugs to street dealers which he acquired on a large scale. He believed that he was above the law and he operated in the shadows using encrypted devices to hide his offending but however clever these offenders think they are, the law is always catch up with them. Thanks to the dedication and professionalism, of all officers involved, the detailed case was presented before the courts, leaving Riley and Johnson little choice but to admit their guilt. He said the North East is no safe haven for drug dealers and our force is committed to tackling illegal suppliers part of Operation Sentinel, our continued activity to dismantle organised criminal groups. So guys, these are a couple of stories coming out from the streets of the UK. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.